Yo, what's up you guys? This is Godson. I'm back and I got some videos for you guys today. Uh, you know what? I wanted to do a defense strategy video uh, just because uh, I had a, I got a lot of heat in the past for having a sucky base and sucky walls. And You know, I'm, I'm actually really proud of my base now. I'm at Town Hall 10 and uh, I've put a lot of work and time into designing my base so that I can make a proper strategy for Town Hall 10 Defense Guide. Now, the, a lot of things that I've learned being in Town Hall 10 is you will fight a variety of troops. Uh, people fight in three categories. I believe it's uh, mass air attacks, where they're using balloons and minions or dragons, and uh, your overpowered ground troops, which would usually be uh, golems and witches, and then your hog rider tactics where they're going for your weapons and then uh, cleaning it up with uh, maybe an archer or wizard. So I finally put the last touches on my base and I've noticed the change in my uh, defense videos now. And also there are a few things that uh, would lead to you winning defenses. I feel that the strongest clan castle troop you can have in your clan castle is a it's, it's either between a witch and a dragon I think dragons are good because they uh, do splash damage now but I feel if you're getting attacked by ground troops a witch is the best uh, troop in the game for clan castle just because she can keep spawning troops and they her little skeleton guys her little minions can run actually really fast I think they run as fast as goblins do. I'm not sure on that, but they seem like the best uh, troops that you could use for uh, clan castle. So I had uh, a bunch of replays I wanted to show you guys and let you see how it is up here. I did uh, drop some trophies. I'm trying to farm for walls, but these things are just, you know, they're at 3 million for the last level. So I tried to put my walls where the the most traffic is where they usually attack the most and uh, usually when you see bases that have the three la layer walls like that um, that's like a, a no attack zone usually troops will go around that so that's kinda how I catered my base I had uh, set up some areas where I know the traffic was gonna be and put mega bombs and all my arsenal right there to attack them. I I did open up some of the walls, and that was because I had a lot of trouble with hog riders, and by making them a little bit of a pathway and putting spring traps in there, they had to go for those. So that was basically just my uh, last effort for stopping hog riders. And once once I made my base almost perfect so that uh, ground troops had a hard time I would always get attacked by air units so it took me a while to realize oh just you know put up your air, your uh, X bows and then they will stop attacking so now I don't have anybody attacking me anymore just because of the sm the minor tweak of putting your X bows up I think that's you know the biggest thing now people look for is for bases that don't have X bows that are anti airs so I mean this is really difficult if you're in a higher trophy range you know you have to watch out for um, golems you know if they get inside your base you can call it a game over and you have to watch out for air units you have to watch out for hog riders and you have to just basically design your base accordingly to fight all of these different troops and not only that you have to watch out for wall breakers you have to make some, somehow make a uh, path for them to follow so that they can't destroy your your uh, your main defense walls where your town hall is and usually when you're in the higher trophy range you lose I would say about 80% of your matches unless your base is all maxed out you can most likely say that you will lose 80% of your defense just because people can't afford to lose so they're gonna you know use their best Right now, I think that the hardest troops to defend against are witches, and that's another reason why I did that three uh, that three layer wall in the back. Usually, that's where witches go, 
when they're attacking me with witches. And so they kind of have to go around into a pocket where my wizard towers usually uh, hose them down. So again, it's just a lot of things that you have to look out for. I think the best spells in the games right now are a free spell um, and the rage spell. So just a heads up, you guys, I got my new microphone, my Blue Yeti, and I should be using it maybe in the, maybe next week, these upcoming episodes, I just got to configure it, so I'll also be doing the Nexus versus the I, uh, iOS device recordings, so I'll do a side comparison for you guys and let you see how it looks, you can give me your rating. And of course, I'm interested in knowing how you guys deal with these troops. If you can put in the comment box how you deal with hog riders, how you deal with golems, witches, and air units, and how exactly you set up your base accordingly to those troops. I'll go ahead and let you guys see the rest of these replays, my defense replays, and I will see you next time. Godson out.